Due to this pandemic situation, we are going to start our lecture online. Hope I will, uh, you will understand the online lectures and still if you have any doubt related to the today's session, we are going to conduct the Google Meet. And through Google Meet, you can ask me the questions if you have a doubt related to the today's session. But, but I will try my level best to uh, to teach you the hundred percent. To I, I will try my level best to uh, understand the concept um, uh, to you hundred percent. Still, if you have a doubt, you are free to ask. So let's start with our first schedule that is Earth and Solar System. Already yesterday during the Google Meet, I have told you your science science subject is bifurcated into the three part that is physics, chemistry and biology. So I am going to deal with the physics. So let us first understand what is meant by the physics. This, this subject is totally related to the measurement parts which is related to uh, we can understand the concepts of measurement, we can understand the related to the physical things which are happening in our day to day life. So the whole schedule is that earth and solar system. So first we are going to focus only on earth. So can you just tell me where do we stay? Yes, many of the students might be telling yes we are staying on land. Yes, of course we stay on the land but we stay on the earth. We stay on the earth. Are you getting me? You are learning this concept since uh, since the, from third standard onwards. You are learning this concept. Even in your class six geography, you are going to have the same lesson that is Earth and solar system. Earth. Now we have learned many things. We stay on the Earth. We stay on the Earth. And if you will look at Earth, is a unique planet. Earth is a unique planet. Why I am saying that Earth is a unique planet? Because only life exists on the Earth. Why the life exists on the Earth? Yes, as you are the Mumbai Baba students, you should be able to ask the, uh, for every every sentence you should have the question until it, until it gets satisfied answer. So why there is a life on the Earth? Yes, because there is an atmosphere. Now, what is the atmosphere? Already we have discussed what is the atmosphere in the class 5. Atmosphere is nothing but a blanket of air. It is nothing but a blanket of air which is surrounded by the earth. It is nothing but a blanket of air which is surrounded by the earth that is called as a atmosphere that is called as a atmosphere so because of the atmosphere there is a life on the earth there is a life on the earth are you getting me earth is also called as a blue planet why it is called as a blue planet because in on the earth if you will see that 71 percent 71 percent of a of a land or a, uh, the earth is covered by the water. The seventy one percent it is covered by the water, so it is also called as a blue planet. It is also called as a blue planet. Uh, and remaining twenty nine percent, the uh, the earth is covered by a land. Now. You might be thinking that 71% of the water is there on the earth. Then why there is a too much scarcity of the water? So if you are watching the video, if you are watching the news, you might be hearing the news about there is a scarcity of the water on in this place. There is a uh, there is a scarcity of the water during the summer. Mostly the news flash during the summer season that there is a scarcity of the water. Now. If I am telling you the 71% of the water is there on the earth, then why there is a scarcity of the water? Yes, because only out of this 71%, only 0.02 or 0.03% of water is useful. Is useful, which we can use in our day to day life or which we can use for the drinking purpose. Other all water. 
our daily life are you getting so there is a stability of the water are you getting this so let's move to this point that earth is surrounded by the blanket of air that is called as an atmosphere now in the class fifth we have learned the layer of atmosphere yes so these are the five different layer of atmosphere first is troposphere which is the lowest layer of the earth then stratosphere mesosphere thermosphere and exosphere in class fifth we have discussed all these points thoroughly so once again we will we will just go through it first layer of atmosphere troposphere it is the lower layer where the weather changes takes place where the weather changes takes place then stratosphere next is the next is troposphere in this layer the, there is an ozone layer in this layer there is an ozone layer which protect the uv rays which protect the uv rays and which protect the harmful rays that is ultraviolet rays which are coming directly from the sun and it avoid us from the coming to the earth it protect us from the uv rays that mesosphere your meteorites burns in this layer very good thermosphere what is happening in the thermosphere yes we shall express here and last is the exosphere this is the outermost layer of the of the atmosphere so this is about that earth now you might have this already learned in the class fifth so my dear students today's work will be you have to once again read it thoroughly about earth in from your last year science textbook and go through the atmosphere and layer of atmosphere and note down this in your physics notebook are you getting me i hope you have understood this are you getting me have you understood so next part is the structure of earth structure of earth now can you see this is an earth now this is a structure of earth if you will see the structure of the earth the earth is mainly classified into three types the earth is divided into the three types that is crust metal core and core is further divided into two, two, two parts that is outer and inner core now let's learn the structure of earth now see this is the structure of earth the first is crust if you will look at the crust it is the outermost layer of the layer of the earth it is very thick its thickness varies from place to place and it is made up of rock it is made up of rock and it uh, it has uh, it contains continent and ocean means it contains land and water life exists on the crust in that i have already told you that the water there is a very less uh, very less amount of the land that is we can see two third uh, sorry one third consists of land that is also called as a lithosphere and hydrosphere consists of two third part are you getting me hydrosphere consists of two third part the of water are you getting me the so the crust consists of this all this things on the crust is nothing but actually the first layer of the rock, first layer of the earth which is the first layer of the earth which is made up of rock it uh, it consists of continent and ocean are you getting this then next layer of the earth is mantle it is partially molten layer and it is about 2 2900 km and contain lot of iron and magnesium it contain lot of iron and magnesium so this layer uh, where we can get a more amount of iron and magnesium in the layer of 
mental then the third leg that is core the third leg is core the core is further divided into the two part that is outer and inner core it is made up of molten iron and nickel it is made up of molten uh, molten rock that is called as an iron and nickel now if you if you might have seen the earth before a millions of year ago you might have seen the earth was a totally made up of a hot fire ball it took a millions and billions of year to get cooled down and after that slowly slowly the light started to exit on the earth as it started to hold the atmosphere it started to hold the atmosphere are you getting this have you understood this part and structure of the earth so the earth is divided the structure of the earth is divided into three part crust mantle core and core is further divided into two part that is inner and outer core iron mostly the iron and magnesium we get in the mantle and iron and nickel we get in the core part are you getting this then if you will look at the earth properly if you will look at the earth properly suppose this is an earth we can get an, a line which is passing from the north pole from the center of the earth from the center of the earth from the north pole to the south pole this line is called as an axis what it is called axis it is called as a axis if you will see the earth suppose this is an earth the the line which passes from the center of the earth from north pole to the south pole that line is called as a axis that line is called as a axis and one more line is there like this Revolution. So 
revolution of the earth and because of the revolution revolution of the earth there is uh, there we can cause is the um, if it can cause the season season change takes place because of the revolution you get it the year changes according one if the one revolution is completed when the one revolution is completed the year is changed am i right so the in the revolution there are some 365 days or 366 days yes or no so this was about the movement of earth that is rotation and revolution i hope you all have understood this concept what we have learned in today's video first we have learned what is the earth then we have learned there of atmosphere then we have discussed the structure of an earth then part of the earth i can say axis equator and movement of earth are you getting in the next video we will learn more about earth i hope you have understood it watch the video carefully i am going to conduct google meet after this